Dave Parody here with another slide makeover video podcast based on the ideas in my book, The Visual Slide Revolution. Today's slide comes to us from uh, a financial planner, somebody in the finance uh, world who has submitted a slide for one of the workshops that I did. Let's uh, take a look at the slide that they submitted. Now, what they're doing is they are showing how the investments that they suggest uh, build wealth better than what most people think would be the best investment, which would be a house or real estate. So they start out with these numbers, uh, house versus inflation, and then they add uh, GIC's guaranteed investment certificates, um, which are guaranteed type of investments, and then uh, some stocks, do the index, and then an all-star manager. So this is what they came up with and the idea is is that somebody is supposed to conclude that it would be far better to build their wealth by investing in uh, the stock market than it would be investing in their house. And the challenge here is, is it's a lot of numbers and even though they build it one by one, which is good, the numbers overwhelm someone, especially because the audience for this presentation are not financial people. Uh, so it, again, it, it's really important to take into account your audience and how familiar they are going to be. It's very hard for people to look at this and, and get the message. So here's what I did. Start out with a headline. Building wealth through real estate is a poor option compared to stock. So what I've done is I've summarized. Here's the point of these numbers that I'm going to show you. So even if somebody doesn't really understand numbers all that well, they know what the message is from the headline. And then I'm going to use a graph. So if we started with an initial investment in a house, a typical house in 1977, and we look at that same amount with inflation, this is what it would grow to. Your house value typically has grown to this. And so at least you've beat inflation, but you could have done better. If you used guaranteed investment certificates, which is a very safe investment, you would have outgrown in terms of growth value the house. Now when you get into stocks, we see the real dramatic difference. Canadian stocks, US stocks even better. And if you picked an all-star manager who does better than just the index, look at the difference between the value you've got in your house and what you could have had with an all-star manager. So you see how what this does is it makes it very clear to someone the magnitude. With numbers it's very hard for people to understand the differences in magnitude because numbers just get overwhelming but when you show it this way they go wow my my stuff is that little gold box there, but I could have had on the right hand side that big huge blue bar. Gee, what can you do for me? Which is exactly the reaction that this person wants to have. So when we are trying to show differences in magnitude, uh, some of the lessons we should learn before we get to the lessons again. If you want more information on the book, get your own copy. Go to www.visualslideRevolution.com. For more information on my training, consulting, videos, other resources, go to my website at www.thinkoutsidetheslide.com. So our lessons when we're trying to show differences in magnitude. First of all, don't make the audience do math because they won't do it. Very few people can actually do math instantly when they see numbers. It's a hard thing to do. You remember back in school when the teacher asked you to do that? Well, don't make your audiences do that. And if you think that, oh, I'll just add more numbers because that'll make it clearer, it won't. It just overwhelms people and makes it even more confusing for them. So don't just simply add more numbers. The key point, because not everybody is a numbers person, give them what the key message is, the conclusion that you want them to draw from these numbers in a headline at the top of the slide. Because then, even if they don't really get the numbers, they know what the numbers mean, which is ultimately really what your message is. Always remember that size of something shows a difference better than uh, a number does. So remember when we looked and we were kids in kindergarten we looked at blocks and this was a small block and this was a bigger block and we understood the difference in magnitude very easily. Do the same thing with your visual on your slide as opposed to just putting the numbers. Now I've used a graph you don't have to but if you are going to use a graph then highlight what that key item is. In this case it was the value of the house. So that was in a different color so we could see it st stood out so we could compare it to everything else and, and as you saw it was this little bar, this little column and the column on the right was really tall and we went wow we, we see that's a really big difference. So when you are showing differences in magnitude use these lessons to make your presentation more effective.
This is Dave Parody, and this has been another Slide Makeover video podcast.